little snafu. This is Jamin. He's always getting Hillary out of snafus. This is Hillary, and she's always getting snafu'd. They're raising their glasses to the Czech Republic. This week, they're hitting the streets of Prague for the first time. like they figured it out. We always go for a run on the first morning. I am personally really happy that we're very close to our run path. Sometimes it's taken us like a mile to get to the starting point for our run. This is like really nice that the run just starts right here. So yeah, Hillary won't have to do any overtime. Slacker. For a run. We are going to do Old Town and then get a little bit outside the city. Not really. Uh, not outside the city, but we, we will cross the river into Newtown <laughs> and then um, come back across. So uh, some famous stuff that we should see along the way. Jamie's not feeling so well. You got allergies and stuff like that. So I'm like so proud that he even got up to do this run. We've been in Europe now five, six weeks and we're starting to feel it. So, um, yeah. yeah, getting a little tired and worn down, but yeah, it's, it's hard right. to get up the first morning after a long travel day. And, um, and oh, by the way, we made it to Prague. Yeah. Real proud. Lots of train misadventures, <laughs> but we got here. Yeah, it was great. It wasn't a big deal at all. Sure. You would say that now. a good subway bathroom. Jamin and Hillary took two tours while they were in Prague. One was pricey and pointless, and one was free and priceless. Tune into the podcast to hear them tell you all about it. chimney cake so sort of a hot out cake that makes a cone and my particular one has caramel and ice cream and chocolate so all the good stuff okay so mine is does not have ice cream in it I got one stuffed with strawberries and then it's been dipped in chocolate and then it's got whipped cream on top and I think it's perfect for me and it's amazing <laughs>
We got sandwiches, because that's apparently all we eat now. Um, but then we also have slow Um It's a liqueur that they make here in the Czech Republic from plums. So we're gonna give it a try. Me a second to like yeah. be able to breathe. Woo! Oh. That is um, supposedly like the most alcoholic alcohol you can buy in the world. Mm, but that's not true. That's not true? No. That is what I have read online several times. But it's 90 proof, which most alcohol is. Well. About time someone started fact checking around here. and it overlooks the whole city of Prague. If you're like me, you may have grown up taking piano lessons and I sat by a metronome for more hours than I can count. My mom's a music teacher and so um, she gets a kick out of music related stuff. So this one's for you, mom. Careful, according to Jamin, these are the flowers that took him down. The streets of Prague haven't always been this peaceful. Tune into the podcast to hear about the Velvet Revolution. We're here at our Airbnb in Prague, and this place is massive. And I will say it's one of the cheaper stays uh, for our time in Europe. Um, so the price per night was really pretty low uh, when we booked it, and we were kind of skeptical as to whether or not it would be as big as it looked in the pictures, and it definitely is. So there's a massive kind of entryway room that uh, the bathroom is just off of, and then as you can see, the living space and kitchen space is just one massive room. It has one, two, three, four futons, so you could easily sleep four couples in the living room itself. And then it also has two bedrooms, uh, both with queen size beds, as well as a nice size bathroom with shower and a tub. And it even has a little patio space where we can go and hang out. So we are really excited to be here. We've been staying in a bunch of really small places, so it's nice to have a little room to spread out. We probably won't be spending a whole lot of time because we've got a lot of stuff planned, Little did Jamin know his allergies would actually lead him to spend a lot of time in here. 
This particular Airbnb is located in Old Town, so it's kind of right in the mix of all the stuff that we want to do and see while we're here in Prague, close to the train station as well. So anytime we need to hop a train and go do something, um, it's all right there. So perfect location here in Prague. And despite their previous travel snafus, they did help on a train. We are in Kutnahora, Czech Republic, and we are outside of the Sedlik ossuary. It is basically a chapel um, and underneath it is a place where bones are kept. If you haven't heard of this you should definitely look it up. Unfortunately they don't allow cameras anymore so we weren't able to um, take our cameras down there and show you guys uh, what it looks like but you can google it. It's crazy because the chapel is surrounded by a cemetery and, and it's a cemetery like you would think with people and like here's a spot where this person is buried and they have a tombstone with their name on it and then you go down into this ossuary where it's just bones and bones used for decoration. They actually have four pyramids made of bones and one of them is under reconstruction right now and you can see the others are crumbling as the bones decay and the wood that was used to hold them in place starts to rot. There might be 10 skulls going down the corner of a wall and if you look at the bottom on the floor you'll see the teeth that have fallen out of the skulls it's just this crazy reminder of of death and and how it's it's always there they're just decaying and turning back to dust i don't know what the next 200 years looks like for this chapel but i would imagine that most of what's in there will be decayed and and gone soon that was so sobering. It was done with great care though. The average person might look at this and think like that's really gory or something like that, but it is a church and it was done with, um, with a lot of honor and respect. So we are about an hour outside of Prague, so it's an easy day trip, definitely worth the venture out here. It's also fun to get outside the city and see what some of the smaller towns are like, and this is a good way to do that. So that's a wrap for our time in Prague. Yep. We went on a couple of tours, one that we would recommend, one we would not. Right, yeah. It was an interesting trip too because um, Jamin actually was feeling pretty bad. So um, the allergies, it's a beautiful time of year, but with all of the flowers, um, you just like weren't feeling it. It was really yeah. hard. <clears throat> yeah. Was, uh, allergies are pretty rough. In fact, if you like sit still for a minute, um, like and just set your phone down or something like that. It will be like covered in pollen in a few minutes. Yeah, I felt so, so bad too because he went on the one tour that we were like, of all the tours we've been on in Europe, it was the worst. Go on and tell us how you really feel. <laughs> um, and it was a night tour and it was three and a half hours long. And um, and then I went on a tour the next day without him and it made up for it. So yeah, I like, so oh. I yeah. missed that one. But we did go to local. Uh, which yes. is a restaurant. Um, it was crazy loud in there. We couldn't yeah. film, but it's authentic Czech food, very affordable. It was really cool. Yes, it's. I think it might be pronounced even locale. It's um, L O K A L. There was a lot of great places that our Airbnb recommended. We didn't get to hit them all, but it's been a really great trip to Prague. Yeah, it was a good time in Prague. Now we are headed to Chesky Krumlov, but if you want to hear all about our stories in Prague, including the two tours and everything else we learned, tune into the podcast. That's right. Bye, guys. Life is short. Wander well. If you're on the fence, subscribe to see what snafus they come into next.